who got one as a gift and then keeps like welcome back to the mountain morning show we're very happy to have sunny wilson here from oil and vinegar junction hello hello again it's good to have you especially because you're making us breakfast so we could be happier hey i'm very excited as you can tell i was talking to break and talking about gifts so yeah, yeah. Well, I thought since I make you guys eat dinner always first thing in the morning with the holidays, maybe Eating it would breakfast. be a little bit of fun to do something totally different. Nice. So yeah, so we're going to put together like a quick little breakfast for us to start okay. with. We have an omelet that we're going to do and then we also have what's been a favorite vinegar in my store this time of year that I just brought in for the winter season yeah. is a green apple. Oh yeah? Um, white green? balsamic vinegar. Apple, it's that one right unique. there. Yes. Green apple, white balsamic. And it's Ooh. awesome. So I use it and make oh. some killer. Share the wealth. That smells like, it smells like ball to me. Mm -hmm. It smells like. It's heaven. Mm -hmm. it's, Applesauce. It reminds me of my dad's apple cider. That's Perfect. Yeah. I have mulling spices oh. in my store too. You need those then. Do you make so, that in a perfume? Or <laughs> <laughs> really cologne, Joe wants it. Yeah, perfume, you're like, that smells good. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm hungry. Right? That works on guys. If you want to really, really, they say that's way to the heart is food. Mm -hmm. That's how I got my husband. It's true. <laughs> Jam and bread. Yep. Anyways, <laughs> back to pancakes for him now. <laughs> um, so I already kind of have our pancake pretty much put together. It's yeah. not instant oatmeal. It's like your hearty. Oh, you made this. You, yeah, like great stuff. oatmeal. Put it in your buttermilk. You need to let it soften a little bit okay. and then I just added in the flour everything else and then half of a granny smith apple just okay. that I grated so it's very good for like a steel cut that would be a good one in this right um you you're still I, I think maybe a little, a little bit softer, softer still yeah. so kind of do that one that's in the middle okay and then the only thing left is we need something to sweeten it and then yeah. I like to amp up the apple flavor with that so I use my vinegar to sweeten it oh, and also perfect. to give a little stronger apple flavor so, we, add that to so this? we need to add just a tablespoon of vinegar okay. to our pancake can we trust Joe to do this he can do it yeah I'm, I'm a pro and while he's doing that, we'll go ahead and we'll just put some oil. <laughs> it's taking you a while over there. Hey, it's just don't, thick and rush, fabulous. You can't rush perfection, <laughs> right? Or what they say, we will make no pancake until it's done. <laughs> we're right? just, we're just glad this, you love it. At Olive and Vinegar Junction, we make no pancake before it's done. <laughs> All right. So then all we need to do is we'll just kind of stir that in yeah. here with everything else. Oh, nice. Okay. And use our little scooper. Yeah. And our pancakes are going to cook up pretty quick. So we're just going to put them to the side by you because yeah. you're going to be in charge of them the for a minute. There's the right there. And then we're going to start on our omelet. Okay. So we're doing, lots of people do ham over Christmas, right? So yeah. I thought something, if you have that leftover ham that you can throw it into, would be perfect. Yeah. So I have a mushroom sage Ooh, oil that I love. And we're just going to put a little bit of that in the bottom of our pan. I okay. also need Move one of around. those for my oil. Right? This is nice. Those are super nice and they're weighted so you just pour and it takes care of itself. Um, cool. And then once our oil's in, I just have two eggs here and we'll go ahead, we'll drop them okay. in our pan. Oh, you'll need to turn that thing on high. This thing barely runs. Does it? Okay, we'll turn it. We'll turn it up. This one. Should we just put transfer it over? We might have to. I turned it up. So to that, we're gonna add just a little bit of ham. Okay. And then we'll do spinach. All right. Should I be you can do it if you want. Are yeah. The pancakes still on hold? Or? Are we waiting on those? As soon as we get the stuff in our omelet, then we'll work on our pancakes. All right. Do you like? Do you like ham? Brittany? I do. Okay, well, I we like ham probably need a little a bit more then. Heavy ham then. Yeah, this is going to be a nice ham. Okay, now we're going with. And what? then we'll just drop our spinach, spinach. on okay. the top. Okay. I love spinach. And we're just going to let mm -hmm. that cook. That we'll work. see how our stove top okay. does for a minute. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put our um, pancakes on awesome. over there. So we're just going to put on a scoop and you can just cover the griddle with it. And it can be a little bit heavy and you might want to spread it out just a tiny bit. Have you operated a, a uh, that's why, did you before? see you? me do a I did a little <laughs> test. Did you see the test? Yeah, Calm did. down. If we need, Joe. we can send kitchen. Joe over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> You're not getting any pancakes. I know I'm not. 
it's okay. It was worth it. <laughs> you know, I'll, I I'll you kick him underneath skills. here. Can I just say, you have pancake skills. And truthfully, I mean, it is nice for your food to look pretty. Yeah. Um, Make me a Mickey Mouse one. But please. when you're hungry, right, he'll eat your pancakes that don't look perfect. So you're I'm, okay. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm making you a Mickey Mouse one. Thank you for that. <laughs> There's That's the important. ears. There's my ears. Okay. Very oh, cute. Thank you for this. This, this is important to me. <laughs> Every kid needs a Mickey Mouse pancake. Uh, like, seriously, that's like. That's not very good. No, it's perfect. It will, like be, it will be perfect. Yeah. So All that's right. going to cook just like once you start to see like the little bubbles yeah. getting on the top of the pancakes, just do them. a couple minutes each yeah. side okay. and then go ahead and flip it. Do you have to cook these any longer than a normal pancake because the apples are in it? No, no, you don't need to with that. The only thing about these is really they are best warm for that reason. Yeah. Um, and it's like a no leftover pancake. Like make no it. No leftover pancake policy. Check. Yeah. Make it, like, eat it. Make it and eat it. Definitely with that fresh apple in there. Am I good? To, um, to you flip? can kind of check and see. No, what you think? Really I think no, you're no, almost there. Be patient, right. Brittany. And it is like, true. This is slow. Yeah. Seems like the ideal time to take a break. Uh, but before we do, I want to just a little hint. Christmas gift ideas. So yes. we're going to talk about that when we come back. And there's lots of them at Oil and Vinegar Junction. If you're thinking about something to take with you as a hostess gift or a last minute gift or something for the person who has everyone that can never have too much oil and vinegar, we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Continuing our conversation and some cooking here with Sonny Wilson Hume of all of our oil and vinegar junction and uh, well you have to have the olives have the oil so I think that yeah way. you're good you're good yeah uh, we're just in the right time to do a little uh, work with the, the omelet Can, may I is that okay absolutely hey, I'm gonna nope. give this a shot you're you said you're gonna be the sous chef and you're gonna make us do everything so I'm just bossy right? today yes chef <laughs> I'm, I'm nailing the pancakes over here though no one is commenting on my pancake skills yeah. so we did throw in while we were on yeah. break we put in some of our oh, peppercorns yeah. that we love yeah, more and our salt the... you say you're not a salt person but you are mm -hmm. secretly he's a closet salt I lover am. especially this one this is the what the french gray it's a salt. french gray so it's just a lower grade version of your fleur de sel so if you oh. like you save your fleur de sel for that finishing perfect thing <laughs> your french for gray the perfect person to come here <laughs> no no, for like your caramels, your chocolates, okay. your like those kind of things. Oh. But your French gray lets you do the same thing with the same flavor like every day as an all purpose. So the only thing we have missing from that at this yeah. point is our Swiss cheese. Oh, okay. And we could always add that on top. Is that okay? That's just right. fine. Look at him go. Someone's showing off. <laughs> that's why he wanted to do it. <laughs> pro skills, folks. Right there. And that's okay. <laughs> well, do you see this, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my Mickey Mouse pancake is looking awesome. Thank you. You're so, yeah. Right. So we have our Swiss cheese, and then all we would do is, once that's kind of melted and yeah. off, is just throw some of our tomatoes on the top. And there's your yeah. omelet for you. I'm smelling tons of sage, which mm -hmm. I'm loving this time of year. Mm -hmm. And the mushroom will give it just a little um, of that earthy flavor that we like. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn this off the okay. heat. Sounds good. And then I think they're about done. Are they good to go? You I think? think you're probably good. So we need Mickey Mouse for him, though, for sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> get the right one. Joe is five. Oh, sorry. She's got me in mind. This is good. Always, always. Would you recommend syrup with this or oil? I on top? have some right over the on um, there. Is just it just like, regular syrup? Just like a pure maple syrup. Um, that would be my pick if you want. Sometimes I throw a little cinnamon in with the pancakes you. too. You. Oh, that's good. But with today apple we're just like purists, right? We're gonna keep it basic. Jeez, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Share some I'm with the hurry. rest of us. Did you need any butter? Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Syrup is fine. Yeah, I didn't know breakfast would be such a major hit, but I'm glad we're so excited. <laughs> anything with food. Anything with food, we're quite excited about it. Hey All Joe, right. can you pass a fork? Please? You bet. All right, we're taking a quick break. <laughs> I'm gonna come back with more. I don't need butter, I'm show. good. Are you ready to take a little bite? Let's do okay. it. This is important, this part. And then I'm coming back and eating a little omelet too. Oh boy. Mm. All right. Yeah? 
Oh, the apple, the extra yeah. apple. A you need ten. it. She's our favorite right now because well. we brought breakfast and it's awesome. But you, uh, you can go and start making your own breakfast uh, with all the great accoutrement of uh, the oil and vinegar junction. We'll be back to talk about the gift ideas right after this. You're back with us here on the Mountain Morning Show where our mouths should be full. I'm still eating. You're eating, a smart move. Uh, my <laughs> cheese is melted. I want to do a little omelet in, uh, but before I do, I want to talk about some last minute Christmas ideas. You guys perfect. have got so many uh, perfect things for that. Um, I kind of brought some of the favorites that we have going right now. One of the favorites that's been happening in my store, we have a little chocolate lovers. It's Italian style hot cocoa, so that thick, creamy mm -hmm. cocoa that you love. Um, awesome with a drizzle of cinnamon or chocolate vinegar on that whipped cream and then a chocolate toffee with it. I also have the hot chocolate in bigger bottles. Wow. Um, we've worked on taking some of our smaller ones too, like your teacher's gift, something, you know, for the neighbor and yep. done a little single bottle. So that's a cherry balsamic vinegar and I put a recipe with it where you can do baked brie and then it's a cherry balsamic jam with wow. thyme and some pepper in it and it's awesome. Um, some other favorites in the store is we have like a salt lovers assorted in here right. or we do pasta with an oil and a vinegar and a bread dipping. Um, and then this is when we put together for a corporate client that I had nice. this year um, with the salad tongs and ship those out all across the country. And that's just kind of like our super cute bright pasta, oh, yeah. our mustard that we've tried that we've loved, and so some oh, of the yeah. things that have proven to be store favorites, we put that all together in a bowl. So some of the things we love with gifting in the store, and like my motto is I like it bagged and tagged, so you just have to write on it, and you can take it out, and it's Life super simple. Saver. Yep, <laughs> you don't need to go get anything different, it's just ready to give. Um, and the other thing I love is I love beautiful dishes, and so instead of doing baskets or different things like that, that, I like them to be able to use everything they take home with them. Awesome. Great so. ideas. Oil and Vinegar Junction, where do you go? Um, we're just in on Sagewood Drive, so just west of Smith, in between Tressa's Consign and Design and Asian Full House Bistro in with the UPS. Thanks, Sunny. As always, we appreciate it. We'll be You're back welcome. at Peace House right after these messages.